welcome back to part two of the dual pack unboxing and we have the first game in the in Audre de Batelle, uh pronunciation probably shocking uh, series by Denis Sauvage and that is Saladin uh, produced by Shakos. Um, I know they have lots of plans to do a number of these games. The, the general context is that each game will focus on a medieval character from history and they will provide two battles in each game which you can use those characters in. In this, uh, one was a defeat, one was a victory. A uh, really nice idea. Um, a small box, but again, brilliantly produced. Um, you can tell before I take the wrapper off that that's really nicely done um, 45 minutes ideally two players so again a short time short footprint game um, and we are going to be fighting over the battle of Hattin and Asif um, so we've got characters in here like Guy de Lucine, Lucignon, uh, Richard the Lionheart um, it's basically Crusaders and um, Saladin uh, locked in combat and looks really interesting. Um, so it reminds me uh, on the face of it, similarly to some of the Worthington games that have been coming out of late, like Chancellorsville, Freeman's Farm, Waterloo, uh, Napoleon Returns, should I say, um, where you've got blocks and you have cards representing those units and you've got a certain number of actions or certain number of options of things you can do but there is no real um, measured movement it's a zone to zone movement based on what you decide to do and there's a limited number of things but I, I quite like that it means that the game has a uh, an end to it it, it, it's, it it means the game runs for a set period of time and then it will stop um and sometimes if you just want to scratch the itch and you don't want anything too heavy these sort of games are ideal um and this one particularly when i saw it come to kickstarter appealed to me i've, I've got an interest in the crusades period anyway uh two battles for the price of one and some interesting concepts i saw in the uh, initial playthroughs overviews done on uh, youtube by some of the other uh, YouTubing channels out there but uh, let's have a look in the box and see what you get in this package okay so again really nice stout little box uh, ram full rules and scenarios artwork is lovely really nice artwork um, I've got a little players aid on the back nice uh, so this book here 23 pages we've got the scenarios in the back uh, which is nice so we're probably up to sequence of play. Um, and then you've got setups. Again, really nice. Lots of graphics, pictures, examples of play like that. Again, it keeps it nice and simple. Nicely produced, full colour. So uh, a lot going for it. Um, but it doesn't look too heavy on the rules. I'd say probably somewhere around 15 pages. But again, it's probably a lot less than that when you strip out the uh, the pictures. And again, I like this parents and teachers element. Um, a really nice selling key selling point that Shakos are using now to try and encourage new blood into the hobby. Um, we'll have a look at the little board in a moment. That's nice. Uh, again, we've got lots of blocks we've got some relatively customized dice that's quite a, a treat for a game of this size cards which we'll have a look at and as I say the board let's just have a quick look at the board um, this should be double sided 
it's mounted again for a game of this size that's quite a treat um, it's not a big board it's a small very small board in fact so let's have a look at this one first so again you can see the uh, the, the Saladin's forces will be this side you see Nguyen is that side apologies again for my terrible pronunciations uh, and over the other side we will have Richard the Lionheart and Saladin again so again really nice board not big but nice clear easy to understand and easy to follow um, I'll just let you have a little look at that while I get the cards out of this one again the cards bigger than playing cards so they're going to be really nice and easy to handle uh, and use uh, I'm sure again the production values as in board states will be something to behold and I don't think we're going to be disappointed um, we can see some of the, uh, the pictures and the uh, the graphics on there again very very good artwork um, yeah really nice I like the way they've done that um, the card stock is good quality you probably wouldn't need to necessarily sleeve these unless you really really wanted to uh, there's not that many cards so definitely sleeveable but you're going to need some pretty big sleeves for these if you're going to go down that route um, but overall another excellent production value produced game from Shaco's uh, that's the third game in the series I've got from them now um, so this is the first of this particular type of series um, but my third game from Shaco's should I say so uh, I have these two and I also have Napoleon 1807 which I'm really looking forward to getting to the table um, the campaign looks really interesting and again it looks a really nicely produced game so that's Saladin Again, hope to, uh, if not a playthrough, give you a bit of an overview of the rules in a bit more detail in a future video. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks for watching.